So we've put an anchor down, it's been pissing down, blowing a fucking gale, we moved in, we've got a shitload of, uh, load of bait, load of mackerel, pollock, we've just put an anchor down, Cam had a huss, about five, six pound, um, we're going to fish into darkness, um, so yeah, we'll see if we can uh, show you some fish. Dogfish, brilliant. Cameron's got his second huss, this one's a bit smaller, but it's a huss. I just can't seem to get away from the dogfish, I've got a bite here. I'll show you the, uh, the mackerel and the pollock we caught. Absolutely loads of them. We weathered the storm for them. Nice, uh, nice fresh bait. We're gonna stay out into the night if we can. If, it's, if it stays as calm as it is now, it's like two different days this. Honestly, we were out before the boat was taking a bash in. Uh, it wasn't nice, but it's a bit of a, a bit of movement now, but nothing. Uh, Nothing too uncomfortable. Really, we're trying just over the rough ground at the back of a reef. Uh, what in the eels, really? Don't mind the huss, but definitely want to stay away from them doggies. I'm not having a play with that. I've got a doggy. Introduce the camera. Can oh, it's because the fucking things came off. Key, okay. it's because you've taken cable tied it and it's not moving. Oh, no. Yeah, but watch not. I'll cable tie it and then it just goes. It's because you cable tied the thing to the pole. I might pull this down a bit. So I have to fish through these dogs, I think.
So this is our navvy there. We're just on a bit of rough ground there. Plenty of fish underneath us. There's a lot of pollock and mackerel. We had a decent sized wrasse before when we were looking for bait, but Tom's getting a bite. On the Kenzaki 12, 12 to 20. There we go. It's getting rattled. Looks like a doggy rattle. I do know there is eels down there, so. The light's ready. So all our baits there. Got a little setup for the night. Still raining a little bit, but nothing, uh, nothing too much. It's definitely dogs having a bash at that. Oh, Cameron's had a bite then. Got the new spin fishers on there, and the cabos, the quantums, quantum blues. Fucking brilliant rods, them. Some great fun on the pollock. Just started raining again. Uh, still at anchor in the first spot. It's, uh, plenty of fish, but they're all small huffs and dogs. No eels yet. Um, it's pitch black out here now. Absolutely pitch black. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna see what's about. Maybe have a move. Fish over the the, the Araya. Um, yeah, bring you back if we get any fish. This way. First deal on here. Yeah, it's wrapping around it, that's deal, definitely. Well, let's have a look at you then. Give me a nice, can we get that? Move, I'll get it. Uh, let's have a look at you. 
That's got to be a double figure horse that. It's trying to bite me, I know that. Give a cow down. What do you mean, bear hook? Like, just a hook. There we go. Can't catch a camel before. Right. Tell you what, though. Ouchie. Have you lost the leader by any chance? Come. Uh, it's got another one in its fucking mouth. Oh, it's got another fucking leader. Get this unhooked and get a picture. Cam's just lost a decent eel then. Definitely an eel. Just just wait to... yeah. What? I've just retired another. Yeah. Just got a hook. What a new rig up. There you go. <laughs> I'm showing a bit of interest in this. Might be a doggy pulling at it. In about 65, 70 foot of water, so it's not too deep. The tide's starting to pull a bit more now. It's worth it though, if the eels are biting. It's worth it if the eels are biting. Still need to get that first deal. I don't want to go home till we've got one. Lost his ledge, but he's got a nice horse. Let's have a look what you got, boy. Get him in. Ah, nice fish. Another probably close to doubles, maybe eight, nine pounds. He was gonna show the camera maybe, maybe not. 
I don't think he was, he just launched it back. A bit of interest on mine, but picked up a bit now this uh, this wind and it's raining a bit heavier I think we might be heading in in a bit maybe try behind the breakwater see if there's an eel behind there for us we're two or three miles out of sea in the pitch black now in a speedboat so anchored to the seabed I don't think it's very wise to stay out if this swell's going to get any worse. Dogfish around, they're just Another spot will uh, bring you back. Ooh, I know that seabed. got the last, uh, or has he got oh. the last fish of the uh, mark? Uh, nope, just taking your bait. Right, bring that in, we'll have to get this anchor in. This is going to be fun. Yeah, we headed in at this point. We didn't end up going to the back of the breakwater. Too wet, too cold, too swelly, and we were hungry. <laughs> so we got the boat back in the yard and headed home. We are expecting a bit of nice weather uh, the next couple of days, so we are heading out. Sadly, Cam won't be with us, he's not, not able to make it, but we've got Adam coming with us. 
um, another great little fisherman. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll be hopefully showing you some taupe because that's the target that we're going for Tuesday late afternoon launch early evening and uh, fish well into the night early hours hopefully all being well <sighs> right um yeah thanks for watching see you in the next video